Hi everyone, about a minute on how Germany's energy Vinda has become a $1.3 trillion debacle. A couple of days ago, Reuters reported that the German government is setting aside $500 billion uh, to help defray energy costs across the German economy. And then uh, more recently, Reuters reported that the German government is going to set aside, what was it, uh, $230 billion to cover derivatives that are held by Uniper, the German gas utility that has been nationalized by the German government. Those costs come on top of the roughly $580 billion that the German government will spend on the energy vendor, the so-called energy transition that the German government launched about two decades ago. So you add all those up and you come up with a sum of $1.3 trillion. It is just a staggering amount of money. Here's what Reuters said uh, in their report uh, on the $500 billion being set aside. I'm quoting here. Europe's preeminent economy, long a byword for prudent planning, now finds itself at the mercy of the weather. Energy rationing is a risk in the event of a long cold spell this winter, Germany's first in a half century without Russian gas. And remember, this $1.3 trillion is just Germany. Uh, there are other reports out now, including one from Bloomberg, that said energy costs this year in Europe will total roughly $1 trillion. I mean, this is just a staggering blow across the European economy, and this will last for years to come. What did Europe do? I've talked about this before. They committed four fatal errors, what I call the fatal quadfecta. Overinvestment in renewables, underinvestment in hydrocarbons, premature closure of coal and nuclear plants, and overdependence on imports. And those policies are now coming back to haunt Europe and Germany in particular. Okay, click the link in my bio for more about me. Like, share, follow for more energy and power content. Thanks. See ya.